Um, we live. We live. Oh, we live. We live. Let me check yeah. on the other devices because I'm I'm still working at it too. We live. It's Barber World TV and Foreign Strategies. We trying to get out. Well, I'm trying to get my thing. Right here. Yeah. Uh, I think your mics is loud over there. Yeah, we turned it off. We had a little play. Okay. All right, cool. Let me let me just see how we looking over here because yeah. uh, y'all know this is new international zone. <laughs> yeah, man, you looking good. Man. You got the stream yard. Up. The stream yard and all that is new for your for your for your brother. Yeah, okay, I'm watching it. The backup stream yard. We don't we don't, we don't look too bad. We don't look too bad. I have bought the subscription so I can take their logo off. You know, oh yeah, oh, yeah. We, we we bossed up over here. What's good, y'all? Digital <laughs> <laughs> right. swags in the house. So, fellas, y'all currently in Rio de Janeiro, correct? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, y'all been putting y'all been putting out a lot of work out there. I see. Oh man, <laughs> trying to. Y'all been, been trying to show off a little bit. Try to have three and four girls on one joint. <laughs> I feel you. It's all good. So, tell tell me your names and where y'all from. From those for those that may not know. Okay. Uh, so my name is Tarek. I'm from Houston, Texas. Okay. I'm Dwayne. I'm from Jersey. Dwayne and Tarek. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So, how did you two guys meet? How did y'all? Because I saw Tarek. I saw some older videos of just you, and okay. I thought I watched them. You was talking about girls in Colombia. I think. I don't know if you had one in Brazil, but I saw mm -hmm. I it was Colombia. He was talking about girls in Colombia. So was it foreign strategies before you two guys connected, or was it foreign strategies or y'all name formed the name after y'all connected? Yeah, so I originally started the channel as foreign strategies, and the lane had reached out to me yeah. uh via YouTube, and we pretty much connected from there. Uh he had his own channel. Uh it was a, it's a travel channel as well. Yeah. And we we end up linking in Mexico City, and it really at the, at the beginning it wasn't to start a like to to really like Did somebody yeah. hang out with. Yeah, yeah. yeah, nah, you know what it is. Yeah. It started off like this. I was looking for a host for my travel channel, and oh, so you wanted to be behind the scenes. I wanted him as one of my hosts. Okay, you wanted additional saw, help. Yeah, I saw his channel, and I was like, man, he got the cadence. He's good on camera. I think I could vibe with him. And it was all business, and we were doing uh, private live streams together. We were just chat chatting it up, mm -hmm. and I'm like, man, this sounds like a podcast. This sounds like because we could we were talking about dating, we were talking about travel, right? And we had a lot of things in common. Mm -hmm. So then, next you know, the things we were talking about, it would be an hour, two hours go by, and, I, <laughs> and he was like, you know what? We should like get together and do something, yeah. right? And he's like, yo, we should just uh, collab on a channel. And then we just consolidated together and we just linked up and and did that happen this year? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, what, yeah. two 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 months ago? Two okay. three months ago. Yeah, All right. yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. technically we started in Rio. That's our first time putting out like yeah. Y'all definitely have good chemistry together because it seemed like y'all might have known each other for a longer period of time. So yeah, <laughs> everybody says that. <laughs> no, that's cool. That's cool. I yeah. definitely wanted help at some time. I was trying to find anchors so they could take care of things while I'm over here, over there, but yeah. still right now is a one man show. It's all good. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough. Tough. I was doing that too. I was doing that on my travel channel. It was a lot of work, man. Yeah, for sure. So tell me individually, what inspired you to, to travel? So I would say uh, at a young age, I was exposed to uh, just things outside of the US and it, it just became an addiction um, because I saw just how different things was and how much you how much you really don't know right where you're from you're, you're you're like you're in a little box and when you go overseas you realize that everything that you're told or what you're experiencing in your current state isn't all of reality that's not that's not the world so that just became addiction i'm a type that i love to learn i do i hate being wrong and so that means i have to i have to experience more and more and more and more things keep learning so i could have that knowledge to for myself as well as the past to others so yeah. it's a it's an absolute addiction just to know everything essentially right. as much as i can so traveling is that um as well as just the way you're treated in other places um that's obviously a big part as well so i would say the knowledge and just the treatment has just been amazing and it's a like i said addiction yeah 
I'm going to say mine is a happy accident. I was in college and it was spring break. And I was tired of seeing people do the same things, go to Cancun for spring break. I was talking to this baddie in Helsinki. She was African and Finnish. Mm-hmm. And she just had a very unique look. I never saw a woman like this before ever in my life. I'm like, damn. So I was talking to her on Facebook. That's when like Facebook was big. I was chatting on Facebook. So I went to go visit her. Facebook. I was pipelining. Huh? Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when that was the just the only thing, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I know. <laughs> Crazy, man. Mm-hmm. So I was pipelining, and she was like, come out and see me. I was like, okay. First date. Everything was going well. Had a, I, You know, I, I don't think I had as much game as I have now and the knowledge. I gave her a kiss at the end of the night. It was kind of whack. I was like, man. And then the second date, she was the like, kiss, no. The kiss was whack or the energy was whack? It was just like, I didn't know what I was doing, man. I was okay. a rookie. I didn't okay. know what I was doing at all. I was kind of timid. I had no confidence. Right. You know what I mean? I'm just keeping it real. So oh. after the date, uh, we gave her, I gave her a kiss. We had another date on the second date. Making a long story short, she was like, hell, she friends on me. She's like, you know, you're a great guy. You're a nice guy and everything. But this ain't going to work out. Mm-hmm. Yo, I was so depressed. And and my homies, one of my boys that lived out there, they're like, yo, man, yo, you the man. Yo, you from New York. You got swag, man. You don't understand. Like, ladies love you out here. I'm like, I don't see it. Like, I just, one of the girls just friends on me. He's like, nah, go out to the clubs. Watch what happens. So one thing I always remember is when you go to a new city, it's all about logistics. So when I had my hotel, it was right next to four big clubs. Right. And I went went out to the first club. The first night, 10 minutes into the club, this bad Swedish Finnish chick comes up to me blind. Next thing you know, we're kissing, we're hooking up. She's like, where do you stay at? I'm like, two blocks away. She's like, I want to do a place. I'm, I'm like... Somebody paying this girl? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Man. Daddy. And right. then every single night I went out to a club, it was almost to a point where I was looking on my watch and I was waiting for somebody to come up to me. Wow. You know what right. I mean? It was almost expected. So that's when I was like, I got the travel bug. Shout out <clears throat> Captain Saver Ho for the two dollars on the super chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning how to I'm learning how to do this. <laughs> um so yeah, so you got to experience the the fact that you was kind of exotic over there. I never felt that in New York. I barely didn't even get a compliment. It was a culture shock, man. I was walking around in the clubs and the girls were staring at me like I was like a gorilla in a zoo or something. Mm-hmm. It was just like I was exotic. You know what I mean? I was like the hot girl. And that was the first time I had a taste of it. In America, you are RN, not a registered nurse, but a regular nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, man. <laughs> no, I don't mean that. I mean, we all brothers now, just making yeah. a joke. But so traveling has gave you the experience to see that there's more, you know, and I understand yeah. that. I took my son to Columbia uh, about two years ago. And just so he could see, I didn't want him to ever get caught up in the love zone with a girl and getting depressed. And I just brought him out there so we could see, get a glimpse of, yo, this world is big and you got plenty of options. You know what I mean? He right. thanked me, his homeboy thanked me. <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> yo, cool dad. You know what oh, I mean? yeah. But I understand what it is because it's all about exposure. You know, to right. me, it's about exposure, which you have the opportunity to be exposed to depending on where you can grow in life. You know what I mean? So that's very important. How did you get started off? Uh, I got the travel bug when I used to be in the music business, but we wasn't traveling internationally. We were traveling, you know, I did most of the states. Yeah. But just that alone, getting on flights all the time every weekend and stuff like that made me more susceptible to traveling. And then um, I think the first international place I went to, it was, was Japan. We was there as dancers doing a show for a fashion company called Men's BG. And when we went out there, man, it was just like I remember him. I remember my boy Milo. Shout out to Milo. He's uh he was like an old school DJ from London, and they, yeah. they his crew got so big that they were doing shows in Japan and all over. DJ like a sound set, and um his wife knew the people from the company, and they were looking for for dancers from uh, New York or America to come out there to mix it with the models. 
And at that time, I was dancing for special ed. I was on a lot of videos. I was doing a lot of things. And he he went to the clubs looking for guys and he came up to me. So that's how I got there. And by you saying something in regards to you was like you wasn't experienced. That's what happened in Japan. It was only one guy. His name was Miguel. He was a designer. He did heavy D's clothes and guys clothes and all this stuff. He went out there. He used to be a dancer as well, but he went out there to show his designs to this company. But he also performed in the show. And we all went out once or twice. And he came back. He's the only one who came. We left. We went back with the with the van. He stayed. He's like, I'm staying. And he came back with a girl. And then the next morning, I see him coming out the elevator when we were leaving. And the girl's like dragging his his suit suitcases, you know, out the elevator. Like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And we were looking at him like, you know, we were there for we were there for like a, over a week, and nobody else scored with a girl except Miguel. And I think he scored more than once. So yeah. definitely it's about yeah. what you're exposed to and in, in the opportunity and, and growth. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't these what you call them, POA coaches and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. that you need that when you're traveling, but you know, that that just wasn't even around at that point. Yeah. So tell me about your favorite countries. What's your each one of you guys top three countries? You go first? Top three countries. Okay. I would say Ukraine, Brazil. Oh, the third one. That's that's good. That's that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough. Um to live or to visit. Just your favorite places. I don't know. Have you chosen one to live in, or it's just your favorite? Just let's say your favorites. You know. Okay, let's throw in uh, Germany. Ger really? What part of Germany? I just came back from Frankfurt. Berlin. Berlin. Okay. I, I, I didn't have to go to all the best parts. Yeah. So my, my Euro step was kind of like, eh. Mm -hmm. I know COVID has something to do with it, but yeah. it wasn't all the hoopla that everybody was telling me it would be. You know? Yeah, I see your answer, Dan. Yeah, was Amsterdam was kind of flat. You know what I mean? The clubs, was, were yeah. Closed. The clubs were all closed. You know, the uh, the coffee shops were open. You know, <laughs> red light, red light district. Right. We, I went down there and shot some video, but that's not really my thing. You know what I mean? Right, right. right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I like to have fun, but not in that type of atmosphere. I didn't really, right. I didn't really dig that. I thought that was kind of weird. You know, what yeah. I mean? but it was exciting to see. Yeah, you know, but that wasn't my thing. So how about you? Yeah. What's your three? Uh, my three is number one is Australia. Okay. Uh, man, every time I went there, I visited for a week and I ended up staying for a month. And yeah, that's, a, that's a long flight for a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, mean, man, I, like, oh, no. <laughs> I, I, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna stay here for a week. I, I, didn't, I wasn't even. I didn't. I wasn't no nowhere. Like uh, I had no awareness of it. Mm -hmm. You go out there, why would you stay for a week? That's silly. But I ended up staying for a month and man, had a time in my life, man. I had some crazy stories, man. But they got, they, it's very multicultural. Like you go out there, you see African Australian women, you see Swedish Australian, you see Indian Australian, all types of mixed bags. It's kind of like Brazil. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tell you, man, I was going on dates. They were like, they were, they were like, oh no, I'll pay for it. I'm like, no, I'll pay for it. We I saw my list. We, we fighting to pay for it? I'm like, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to say, like, at the end of my both of my trips, I was, like, crying on a plane, and I, I wanted to go immediately and come back, man. <laughs> How many I, times have you been to Australia? I've been to Melbourne. It's, Melbourne is very similar to New York. Okay. And it's multicultural. No cap. The nightlife scene is popping, man. It's, yeah. it's like New York, but... Put it like this, it's all the good about New York and all the bad is stripping away. So when you go to a club in New York, a really high-end club, I like everything. You can go in, you see models and bottles, but all the models are like kind of like stiff. Yeah. All the party promoters got the hot girls, everybody standoffish, you got right. the celebrities, they don't want to be touched. Right. In Australia, everybody's among each other. No one's trying to profile. Like I had brothers coming up to me. I was like wearing bow ties and they were like, man, I like the way you dress. It's very smart. I was getting complimented by brothers out there. The girls are, uh, they're super friendly. They're, they're come up, they give you uh, a shout you out to videos Instagram. of Australia? Huh? Yeah, videos? Uh, I do have a video. Uh, we did, I did five things that I noticed about Australian women on our channel. 
And I had this one baddie. She was from Brisbane. Man, she was a knockout, bro. <laughs> and there's Greek Australians on there and there's Asian Australians on there. Because it's a mixed bag out there. But Sydney's Sydney's very similar to California. You've got the nice beaches. Right. Uh, if you go to Sydney, make sure you go to uh, – uh, not Sydney. Uh, damn, what's the name of that beach? Uh, Bondi Beach. Bondi it's a famous beach. beach. It's like going to, it's like going to Copa or Empanema. Yeah, or I like countries with beaches, cities with beaches. Y'all, y'all fighting to foot the bill. I'm trying to escape it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, it's Jay Clyde. Shout out to this Jay Clyde. Uh, um, we'll get to the to the comments. It, I just want to get through. Uh, familiarizing myself and let the people familiarize themselves with these brothers and then we'll get to the comments in a minute. Yeah. So you said, what was your three? Or did we I stop Australia. Okay. I'm going to say Canada because um, Vancouver, when I went to get Vancouver uh -huh. for the first time, it was the same thing. It's like a little appetite. It's like it's like Australia, but it's the appetite before Australia. Your, your country's got all to do with the your, your reception from the ladies. <laughs> reception from the ladies. Well, here, mind you, though, you get English speaking ladies, mm -hmm. and it's safe. And I was like, man, I want to live in Australia. I actually did an interview on the spot. I got hired as an architect. Yeah, that's wow. my background. So if I was to be an architect in Australia, I would make just as much money as I make in New York. So the infrastructure is set up nicely there. Is the, the cost of living economics? What is that? Is the cost of living similar there? It's very similar. Um, to New York. To New, it's it's to kind New of York. similar to New York, but yeah. New York is more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm on New so, York. I live in New York. It's, it's rough out here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> so if you X out the women and you deal with the economics, you're good. If you deal right. with the politics, for the most part, you're good. If you deal with the infrastructure, you're really good. I think the only thing that's bad about Milburn is the weather. It could be four seasons one day. It could rain, it'd be sunny, it'd be foggy, and one day you'd be like, what the hell? Like, how should I dress? Yeah. And everything else is solid, man. You don't have to worry about crime. You don't have to worry about, you can. You can walk around. You can leave your cell phone outside your apartment for a week. It'll still be there. Yeah, I so, felt very safe in Amsterdam and in Prague. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's important. So yeah, yeah. So uh, y'all in Brazil. Yeah, you're having a good time. What job? But like the day fourteen or something like that. Y'all been there for a minute. <laughs> it's been what? It's been a week for week for me. He's been out here a little longer than me. It's my second, second week. week. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you can go ahead and finish. Yeah. Well, how is it right now being that net right now is down season, but I still see some of the guys who are traveling there yeah. at the beach some days. It's looking good. My boy Dennis is out there. Shout out to Dennis, John Pierre. Um, yeah. I seen uh, not too long ago, my man Flip Flop was there. So I've seen some brothers that was there. I'm actually going to be there at the end of this month yeah. um, into October. But um, how is it out there being that it's down season? Because I know... At nighttime, it could be around 60, 65 degrees yeah. at nighttime, and you can get some sun in a day. What's the beach looking like and, and everything right now? So during the week, uh, it's definitely a little bit slower than during the peak periods. Uh, we tried to go out there the other day. Was that like Monday? Uh, to shoot some video, but it really wasn't too many people out there on the beach. But it was also it was overcast as yeah. well. Uh, so. Yeah, it's a little down, but I actually prefer the weather right now. The weather's amazing, yeah. like yeah. 70 degrees. I mean, can't beat that. Right. Uh, so if you're looking to come where things are popping, I wouldn't recommend the wintertime. Right. Where's Dennis um, at? Because whenever Dennis put out a video on a beach, it's always sunny. I know, but he's not oh, only man. at Copacabana Beach. He's at different beaches, too. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what what the digital swag. Thank you for the contribution, $20. Enjoy Brazil in 2017. Headed to Medellin for my birthday in December. Absolutely dope content, Zo. Thank you. About to subscribe to Foreign Strategies right now. Chocolate Dribble Studios in the house. Okay, shout out. Oh, shout out man. Man. Appreciate man. Like the logo as well, man. Appreciate, appreciate the support. That. Mm -hmm. appreciate. Um, so y'all been there. How many times have y'all been to Brazil? It's my third. This is my third first time. time first time so did yeah, you take care of all the tourist attractions the christ the redeemer sugarloaf and 
all that type of stuff. Do you enjoy that for Vela tours and stuff like that? Yeah. So I talked to Dennis. We we were chatting last week when I first got in. I was trying to do an interview. He said, hey, we'll, we'll set one up before we leave. He said, do all the touristy stuff first. Get that out of the way and then have your fun, you know, going nightlife or whatever to have you made. Right. So I did Christ Redeemer, Sugarloaf, Santa Teresa. Mm -hmm. um, I did LeBlanc. I did all the beaches like really quick. And I got lucky because it was the weather was actually nice last last week. Did so I got all about it, Duca. I did about it, Duca. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually met a nice woman. A little different over there, right? Oh yeah, it's, it's, a, it's different, a different vibe. It's a different world. It's a different yeah. world. They got a little paper over there. Huh? <laughs> they got a little paper over that way. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It reminds me of Playa de Carmen. You ever been there? Yeah, Playa de Carmen is nice. Very That's one of my favorite cities in the world. I'm man. coming back. Yeah, I saw your video, some of your videos in uh, okay. in uh, Mexico and Quintana Roo. You was talking about a Brazilian girl, even when you was there. Yeah, <laughs> That's the first Brazilian girl I've ever met. Yeah, yeah. And so she was very inspirational. Yeah, man. Well, she, she was smuggling midgets back there, bro. <laughs> oh, um, what a, what advice would you give guys that um? want to go to brazil or want to travel in general what what advice would you guys give because there's guys that are i meet guys all the time that watch the channel that say i inspired them to travel i just yeah. bumped to several guys in cartagena i just came back from cartagena i bumped into several guys that was like yo i watch your channel buy you a drink you know yeah. you inspired me i'm this reason why i'm here what would you tell as seasoned travelers would you tell people that are maybe Still on the fence. Let's talk about this time we're in right now and the climate. People are still traveling. I've been traveling since they opened the gates up. Mm -hmm. And there are people saying, I'm going to travel after this is all over with. And my feeling is like, this might not never be over with. So what advice would you give these, these people out there that are inspired to travel right now? Or I would say, don't think about it too much. Just go. Yeah. Just go. Don't think. I mean, there's always going to be something going on in the world. Mm -hmm. Always. Like, it's... It's never going to be a perfect time to travel, just never. So whether it's personal, whether it's what's going on, mm -hmm. just just go. Right. I'm going to say we in a really good climate right now because we got a lot of brothers out there. We got a lot of brothers out there giving information and we got a lot of brothers out there that care about each other. Yes. When I was looking at Dennis channel, I was throwing my super chat saying, hey, how do I move around? When I was looking at your channel, your late night thirst and stuff like that, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, I, I'm seeing oh, you saw that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, I think the climate is really good. A lot of brothers are exchanging information and it's making us easy to get around and travel because when I first got down my boots to the ground, I had an American friend that was already here. My experience would have been different. Now he spoke English, Portuguese, and uh Spanish, and he's learning French. Show me everywhere, took me around the town, show me how to get around. Right. He can be the same person for, for that same person to look online and look at Zoe, look at us and look at other people. Right. I say do your research yes. as much as possible, because once you do your research, it will give you the confidence to be a smart traveler because the information is already there. It's like Google. If you don't know how to do something, it's there. Yeah. You just got to just look for it. I That's agree. what I would say. I agree. And I just like to add that. Well, how do y'all feel about the um, the fear mongers? Because I'm starting to see that a lot more, even in my comments. People saying, "Oh, I'm not going to Colombia. They're going to yeah. get me with the scopamine, and oh, I'm not going to Brazil because they're going to take my phone, take my camera." Yeah. Um, how do you feel about that? That you know, what's your advice to the people who may be afraid because of what they're hearing? I would say, man, we live once. Um, like we could die in a car. Live every day and live you every day. Exactly. <laughs> I've, exactly. Exactly. I've I mean, I've had very close people die at a very young age to me. And that really woke me up. Like I'm I'm not waiting for anything. You can't control. You could get in the car today and something can happen. You could die, right? There's so many things that can happen. So I would say don't let those little things um, that you hear on TV, like there's always gonna be negativity. Yeah. Always gonna be negativity. You can't let that stop you from living your life. Like you, you just can't. So I would say you have to drown that out. Obviously you gotta be smart anywhere you go. You gotta have some street smarts. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 
But generally speaking, when you go to these places, like the negativity, it's it's not the majority. Like right. that's not happening to the majority of us. Mm -hmm. right. um, so I wouldn't let that stop you. Right. Yeah, and I'm gonna say, for example, when I went to apply to Carmen, some of my coworkers in New York were like, oh, be careful, don't get kidnapped, don't do this, you know. The, me the way Playa de Carmen was portrayed in the media and in the States was so bad that I was actually scared when I was in Playa de Carmen. Right. That is my favorite city now. It's a paradise. Right. So a lot, of, I, I, a lot of Cubans out there. Yeah, a lot, a lot of Brazilians <laughs> out there now, too. <laughs> well, actually, there's a girl that I don't know from Brazil that is there right now. Yeah. 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 There is a lot of Cubans out there, too. Yeah. But I was actually a fear monger. Uh, years back that's why i never came to brazil but once i started watching your channel i started watching dennis i started watching international uh what's his name passport action uh i started watching brothers out there and i'm like well they've been there a couple times they're good then i started looking at the laundry list okay don't go out there with jewelry don't be don't be an idiot like you know walk around with a hundred a thousand dollar camera and not knowing your wits. Like, D-Man, D-Man, D-Man. Yeah, just like, you know, be smart about things. You know those guys? Yeah. <laughs> that was the guys in the Columbia that was yeah. counting the money. And they yeah, got yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, those, those guys got, uh, they got robbed, man. They were showing yeah, off. yeah. Well, you can't just, do, do things like that. I'm yeah. just saying, I'm not saying it never happens. Of course it happens. But don't let it stop you from traveling somewhere because the, the likelihood of it happening is far less than it's happening. And now, and the one good thing is that you know about the possibilities, you know, the history of what has happened in the past, you know, some of the things to look out for, you know, so I would definitely say go. My motto is always tomorrow's never promised. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, for sure. Me as well. I agree. So how long are y'all going to stay in Brazil and what's the next move after here? Are y'all going to be traveling together from here on out? What's the plan? So uh, you got to head, he got to head back to the States. And All right. So I'm going back to the States next week, mid next week, uh, Wednesday. Going to the States for about six weeks. I'm coming back out to Rio for three months. <laughs> okay. I'm going to learn Portuguese. Okay. Business reasons. Yes, business reasons. Business, okay. business purposes. Okay. Right. And because uh, we we when we started foreign strategies together, we we were like, it's a saying that says, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Mm -hmm. And I was saying to him, this is our saying: if we can't make it in Rio, <laughs> we'll, we'll, <laughs> if we can't make it anywhere. It's so a lot of motivation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's I was like, yo, what we do you guys at, do? that allow you to travel like this? Because that, that you know, the average person uh, has to report to work and so on. So the people who travel a lot have to have some type of different lifestyles. People always want to know, how do you do it? Yeah, 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 I get that question a lot. <laughs> but uh, I own a property management business. So I do Airbnb, Verbo, um, stuff like that. Nice. Um, I work as an architect and I've been working remotely since uh, COVID hit, but like before COVID hit, I was working in the office. Luckily we've been, I've been blessed to work uh, remotely. Right. So that's how I've been able to do it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. As simple as that, just for more work. And you come in to Rio, invest in time and energy into Rio because y'all want to actually relocate there and do business there. So you, is it a, a so be a surprise, something we should wait for or something you want to share? You mean like something, do we have something in the pipeline that we want to? Yes. Y'all don't have to share it. I'm just asking. You can say, <laughs> stay tuned. I, yeah, <laughs> I'll just say stay tuned because like, right. I'm, 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 I'm using my creative side. I think we lost you, but we, okay. should we keep it going? Yeah, keep it going. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. All right, keep it going. I'm gonna keep it going. Um, Camera, maybe it automatic shut off. Let me see if I can get it back online. Okay. So okay. I believe in I believe in diversifying content and trying new things because obviously you got to do what works for you, but you can build on that and just add on. And every time I have a great idea, I pitch to him. He has a great idea. We pitch it together. We we sit down and be like, let's test it. And right now, 
we have some really good ideas and I don't want to talk about it, but it's going to do, I think it should do well on Rio because we already tried the vlogs. That was one of the ideas. We were like, because okay. that's something that I was doing on my travel channel. Right. So I'm bringing that flavor to foreign strategies and we're mixing, intermingling, you know, that's those two styles. Right. So now we're going to be adding new things in the pot and we're going to see how those things go. But I think they should do great. So basically, yeah, basically stay tuned for those those ideas right. I want to talk about. <laughs> anything, anything you guys want to talk about that I may not have covered before we try and address some of the questions? I want to hear your top three countries. Oh, my top three? Yeah. My top three is Thailand, okay, Brazil, and Colombia. And Colombia. Okay. Brazil or Colombia? Okay. Brazil oh, first, and Thailand. Colombia. Okay. Okay. In that order. order. What was the order again? Thailand, Brazil, Colombia. Okay, I got to get to Thailand. All right. (laughs) Anybody who has visited to Thailand that I know definitely has it like number one. Like it's 90 percentile number one for anyone who has been there along with several other countries. Okay. Yeah. Thailand is like, it's like, Especially Pattaya is like 42nd Street on on, on crack, you know? So, oh, really? Yeah. In New York? Yeah. Yeah. It's like Times Square on crack. Oh, man. It's Damn. crazy. It's like we got a next stop. My office is like right down that street, too. <laughs> Looks like we got a next stop. Yeah, but I do want to say, I do want to say that what, we, what I can't talk about is the idea is, uh, I was like, hey, listen, what if we had a panel? In a perfect world, we have six Rio girls talking about their perspective, a perspective from a non-Western woman, women, and us two, and we're just chopping it up, talking about travel, dating, culture, breaking myths, giving intel. You know, I would love to be in a fly on the wall and see that myself. So that's the thing, that's what we're aiming for. We wanna get multiple girls on a panel and just get that different narrative out there and just right. see, you know, that's one thing I can say. I'm gonna keep mine. I'm gonna keep mine one on one. Late night thirst. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can only handle one at a time. <laughs> yeah. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, let's see what, what what some of the questions. Y'all got any questions out there? If you've asked them. Try and ask them again because this will be difficult to go that far back because we've been already on here for 30 minutes. So Thailand, Brazil, Colombia, the opinionated, he likes that. Great idea. Which countries are honorable mentions? Honorable mentions for me is Philippines. I like Barcelona. I like Costa Rica. Um, Paris is dope spot to visit, in my opinion. And I'm not, when I say these countries, I'm not talking about for girls. I'm talking about beautiful cities, uh, beautiful culture, good food, stuff like that. Right. Yeah. No respect. Respect right. to that. Yeah. You um, um, you do any real estate? Are you into, are you looking into any markets? I am. I'm looking in some in Dominican Republic. Uh, okay. I spoke with someone there in Brazil. So right now, you know, my, my, my float is my barbershops. But nice. I do have two small pieces, you know what I mean, in real estate. Okay. I'm looking to do, you know, I, I mean, think real estate is going to keep floating me, you know, so it's going to either be Airbnbs or, or something like that. How many barbershops you got? Uh, you know, COVID shut a few things down, but right now I still have six shops. Damn. Oh, that's yeah. Oh, man. Awesome. Yeah, true, true business, man. They all in New York? Yeah. Hmm. Wow. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's I'm gonna have to come up. out to get a cut when I go back to the states. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, when I run into you, I get your shape up or something, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sometimes people really be trying to get me to cut their hair, and I'd be like, "Yo, chill. I'm not really cutting <laughs> like that, like that." You know, like <laughs> I'm for cut, a cut in the interview or something. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not meant it for both of us, you know. But they'd be like, "Yo, I want to make an appointment with you." I was like, "I'm really retired, Barbara." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Captain Saberho, what do he say? Captain Saberho, in the DR, yo, yo, a finna get ate by the mosquitoes. 
<laughs> I just I just got some um I just got some mosquito lotion, two lotions and a spray because I'm going to um Tanzania. So I got my yellow fever, I got my, my malaria pills, oh. and I really did some research for the mosquitoes. You can make your own essential yeah. oils. They don't they say they don't like essential oils. Yeah. So you mix that with some grapeseed oil and make your own spray. And then they got a few supposed to be really good uh mosquito repellents that i'm taking because mosquitoes love me and i yeah, definitely exactly. don't want to be out there getting sick and getting bitten up by them african mosquitoes you feel me somebody said i'm shocked dr wasn't mentioned yeah i love dr too i'm never gonna be one of the dudes that uh talk down on dr I love the DR too. Um, yeah. I like the girls out there. You know, they show me a lot of love. So yeah. DR is definitely on my list. It's, DR is like in my my top oh, five or six. I'm I'm I'm, I'm never like dudes be. You know, how they discover in other places, they try to really be like this at DR. But yeah. I like DR, man. I like DR. Uh, Joe, Thailand, Colombia, Brazil. Hopefully, our paths cross. I would like to work with. You brothers. All right, what's up, Joe? What do you want to do? What can you what can you add, bring to the table? You know what I'm saying? I definitely yeah. need some help. <laughs> hey, man. Speaking of working with each other, man, like if we in the same place, we can we can have you as a special guest, have some girls on a panel. Mm -hmm. We could just make it happen, man. Yeah. Chop it up. No yeah. doubt. Yeah. Uh it. Robert Ward. Hey brother, what is your opinion for first time travelers to Brazil? Um Go and have fun, man. Keep a Nima, you know, yeah. or, or LeBlanc. And just stay yeah. in the local areas and I mean have fun. You know, there's gonna there's gonna be some brothers out there that you can reach out to. You'll be bumping into them. It's becoming a much visited spot. And yeah. uh, I'll say do it, man. Worship the yeah. king. Why doesn't nobody talk? about man they're moving on nobody talk about sao paulo and tinder is perfect i've been swiping yeah when i went to sao paulo it was still during the curfew and they had lockdown everything was closed so i haven't had a great experience i can't talk about sao paulo because i didn't have an experience there as of okay. yet um when i return at the end of this month until next month i definitely will be going to um i think first i'm going i'm going to go to um what you call them um Having a, a, a brain moment. Um, my house? No, not my house. Uh, say it again. Brazilian? No, no, no. For an Afro Brazilian. Um, Merida? Merida? No, no. Um, damn, why is it? I think it's called Merida. No, not Merida. Uh, uh, it'll come to me. It'll come, yeah. but there are some places that I want to visit on my next trip. Okay. Uh, hold on, Jay Clyde. Jay Clyde, what's up, Jay Clyde? It's Jay Clyde. Everyone on the panel, can you name countries you don't like? Mm, mm. I can't. I don't. I can't say that I've been a place that I didn't like. Yeah. Per se, you know, like because it's always a new experience. Yeah. I yeah. haven't been to any place that I'd be like, oh, I'm never going back there. It was terrible. Yeah. You know? And I, I, can't say that I, I can't think of a place that I didn't like. You know, there's something to like everywhere. Yeah, Salvador Bahia. Thank you, Global Paper. That's where I'm going next time I come down. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Global Little Paper. Africa. Yeah. So that's okay. uh, that's high on my list, and maybe I'll catch get another spot. You nice. guys should be a video. Do a video about Portugal. Yeah, uh, it would be interesting the differences, similarities between them in Brazil. I haven't been to Portugal, so I couldn't do a video about that. Yeah, you was you were about to go to Portugal. Supposed to go. How was your experience in Cuba? Cuba, Cuba is dope, man. It's dope. Yeah. You got a good nightlife. The salsa is amazing. The women yeah. look the same as all other women in, in in Latin America. There's an Afro Afro Latino, big Afro. Latino community that embraces the, their um, ancestry, the connection. Nice. They have that uh, the religious dance and stuff. Cuba's dope, and they were very friendly, very welcoming. There's no crime there. There's no drugs there. You can just walk around. It's hot. Don't go in August. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably humid too out there. I can imagine. 
Cool cat. Got a feeling that Tanzania will become one of your favorite spots. Okay. I hope so. You know, I hope so. Uh, yeah. What else? Your nerves going to Africa. You nerves. You never going to Africa. I don't know what he's trying to say. Uh, I'm going to Africa next week. Matter of fact. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to, uh, Tanzania, and then I'm going to, I'm flying into um, Johannesburg on the 28th of October, and then we're going over to Durham. I'm going with uh, my boy, uh, No Excuses, my boy Rob, No Excuses. That's what's We're going to hang out. So I'll be going to the continent twice this year. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. We got to make it out there. Yeah, Yeah, I saw what's name go out there. Passport Heavy, you went to Rwanda? Yeah, man. It looks beautiful. Yeah. You know, the gorilla track tours, the gorilla track. That was like, crazy. Man. Really? Yeah. And then they had like internet in the jungle, like top notch internet. No right. matter what. Yeah. Crazy infrastructure out there. Internet and the Hawaii and the uh internet in the yeah. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Crazy, bro. Hey, Captain. He said, have you used women? <laughs> Thanks for the two dollars. Have you used women? For free meals in Australia. Oh nah, man. I'm I'm a, I'm a traditional guy, but <laughs> I'm not. I used to be a traditional guy, but I'm a I'm more mo- mixed modern. But when I'm in Australia, nah, I I just try to be traditional, take them out. But they be fighting for it. They're like, nah, I got it, I got it. So walk walk, walk the world says I'm tired of all the recycled content. Everyone's doing and saying the same thing. Black folks have to be more creative and, and individuals, everyone's playing follow the leader. Yeah, that's why I did the Euro step because uh, nobody was out yeah. there. And yeah. I just went to a couple countries in Europe myself. And um, right. and I think just to defend that, I think people are going similar places because they're finding content with information and they're able to ask people where to go, where to stay, what to do. So the places uh-huh. where there are information, people are going to follow because you have no direction sometime if you haven't been there. True. So I think that's why you're going to see people going to the similar places because there's someone who's covered in it and brought back some intel. Right. In my opinion, you know, because it's 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 hard to it's okay. It's 54 countries in Africa, you know what I mean. But you you're going to just pick a random one out that there's no research on, you know, that you can't ask yeah. questions about. So exactly. there were. There are, there, there are Americans in Tanzania that I already connected with that I'm going to interview when I'm there that are you, that yeah. are content creators. There are some people that gave me some information on where to stay. I was able to find where to stay. I was right. able to find some things to do. So, you know. And I'm going to add to that. Right. You know, from a business standpoint, we thought about that too. Do we go to a place that nobody talks about and risk starting a new business? With a place nobody talks about, that's that's kind of like a bad business decision. Right. You want to start off strong, and then when you got your business going, then you can be like, go out to a no name place nobody heard of, and then if you hit a gem and show people. But yeah. Yeah. from a business standpoint, it, it wouldn't make sense for us to do that. Not yet. So because actually, some of the places I've gone, I watch other content creators go, and I felt comfortable going there because they gave some information. That made me say, okay, I could stay in this area. I could fly there this way. Uh, this is what kind of you get a visa on arrival. This it was, it was information that made me feel confident enough because I travel alone ninety percent of the time. So if I don't have, that's like you're not being able to do research on a place that you're going to visit. So you don't know what you're walking into. So I think some of the the, the content creators and even the other travelers are going to the same place because they're able to find out information, just like that. That's right. You still feel nervous going like across the world on your own. You know, you. you don't know <laughs> I was nervous, man. Yeah, my friends I would say, "Yo, you crazy." You know, you you're crazy. You go to Thailand by yourself. You know, some of my <laughs> friends are like, "Yo, you bugged out." You know. <laughs> And you ate that balook, you ate that egg, that baby duck fetus, you know, they, they be- <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man. Now I, now I got to get out to Thailand. Oh, yeah. That was, no, that was in um, the Philippines. Oh, Philippines. Philippines. Too. Philippines is dope. Yeah. They have some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Yeah, that's going to be one. Philippines is going to be one for sure. Yeah, I got to sure. get that Southeast Asia, too. Fellas, oh, yeah. up N- Namibia. 
and South Africa. It will change your life. We're going to get there eventually, Cool Cat. We're going to get there. Uh, what city in Thailand is better? I don't know because I've only been to Pattaya when I was there. I didn't even get to Phuket. I heard Phuket is dope, beach town. Um, you know, so Bangkok, I just flew into there. I didn't really get a chance to um, visit there. Sub dudes, Larry Sounds. Shout out to my man, Larry. He make a lot of dope beats, man. That y'all you, you might want to use some, some background music for some of your. Uh, oh, really? Oh, wow. What's his last name? I think this is uh, Say T, but it's his YouTube is Larry Sounds, I believe. Right, Larry? Say T. Check him out, man. He he, he makes some dope beats, man. Okay. We're actually going to be eventually, I'm going to talk to T Bob about that. At some point, we're going to put an intro. Because right now, we got like a kind of intro, but it's not like an intro intro. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, still working out a, I'm working out a lot of kinks, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> still, everybody's still working on their thing, man. Yeah. Time. <laughs> yeah. I got beats too. 760 uh finesse 82 finest 82. Okay. Uh yeah, put your link up, Larry. Put your link. We don't see it, but put the link in there. Uh yeah, I got you, Larry Sounds. I just wrote it down. You guys don't sleep on Malaysia also. Okay. Sorry, we're bouncing around because there's a lot of questions coming in. Um okay. oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Thailand has the best food any country I visited. I would, I would, I wouldn't agree with that all the way, but the food is definitely one of the better things about Thailand. I definitely enjoyed the food there. Uh, Which city oh, yeah. do you uh, recommend? Uh, Manila, uh, Angeles City, and I went to Boracay, one of the islands. I did three places when I went to um, the Philippines. You gotta kind of go to Manila, you know. That's like the big city, yeah. The, the, the big malls and all that stuff. But um, Angeles Listen. City is where you want to go. That's where all the party. That Angeles City has Walking Street. There's a baby Walking Street from Thailand. It's like similar, you know. They they crafted it kind of after the Walking Street in Thailand. Exactly. All right. Okay. And the women in Thailand and the Philippines are very nice. Nice. Very good sense of humor, humor. Um, very kind. The people in the Philippines are kind in general. Kind nice, people, yeah. yeah very, very kind, kind people. Nice. warm people. So nice. But yeah. don't get me wrong. Some of them don't like black guys with their women because they um, will. They will call, but they don't call you name. They'll call a girl the name if they see her with a black guy. Sometimes wow. that happened to me once. Damn. While and she was with you? Them. Yeah, they 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 don't like them with the black guys. Oh, <laughs> Some of the locals, they don't like them with the black guys. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. oh man, that's that's yeah. What's Panama? the prices like comparable to like like let's say Colombia to like the Philippines? What's the prices like? Is it Ooh, pretty about cheap to uh lodging similar everything similar. Is yeah, it's similar. It's still it's still a very affordable place to go. Somebody said something I wanted to address. Uh, what about Panama? I like Panama too. I've been to Panama twice. Panama is nice. Got a decent nightlife in Costco Viejo. Uh, if you want to go to the islands, they got like there are seven tribes that own most of Panama. Mm. The indigenous Panamanians, like here in American places, you say Panamanians, they look black. But okay. Panama, the Panamanians are in the Indios. They're not black. The, all the blacks, Jamaicans and Trinidadians, all of them came to build the Panama Canal yeah. and they stayed there. The original mm -hmm. Panamanians are not black. They are Indios. They look like Mexicans. They look like everybody in Central America and, and South so, America. That makes sense. Okay. Philippines requires to be vaccinated. Okay. Oh, vaccinations. How y'all feel about the vaccination thing? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I had to do it for work. I had to. Um, me too. But I mean, it wasn't work, but you know, the yeah. like, most traveling that I do, I feel like I would be irresponsible if I didn't get it. And I got a lot of hate for that. I got a lot of hate for, for getting that. And I still yeah. get a lot of backlash. And I just respect people not wanting to get it. And I respect people who get it. You know, just it's up to you, man. And I know all the conspiracies and all that. Well, I just don't know these days. I don't know. <laughs> Have you heard of um, Black Man's Travel? Black Man, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Black Man's Travel. Which one? Uh, Black Travel Gram. Black Travel Gram. Gram? No, not that one. Yeah. 
Yeah, they do like it's like black is black folks for the black experience. They do uh, yacht parties and stuff like that. The owner just he died. He died from um, COVID. COVID. Yeah, he died from nineteen. That's crazy. Yeah, because yeah. he didn't have he didn't get vaccinated. He was traveling everywhere, Morocco, uh, Tulum. He was traveling all around, and yeah, they just sent me a message. I talked to one of my homies, and he passed away, and he. He died from uh, yeah, like my brother Yusef Watif. Yeah. You know, I was just there with him in in uh, Sao Paulo. Interviewed him, one of the best mm-hmm. interviews I did. And soon after, he went in the hospital, and maybe like a month and a half, he passed. You know, and he was talking about the uh, vaccinations and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I can't say because some people are getting it and recovering and some people are getting it and passing away. So I can't even say that's up to the vaccination or not. Right. We don't know. I don't think nobody has all the information. You know what I mean? And I don't I don't think the cases are the same for everybody. It seems like all individual situations that are happening, in my opinion, because I see one of my um, one of my neighbors, one of my, you know, that's in the business right next to me just passed away. You know what I mean? From the same thing, you know, and I see him all the time. I just saw him like two weeks ago or whatever. But last time I was in town, I saw him and yeah. just like that, he passed away. You know, some of my yeah. old friends, uh, associates passed away. So you don't know, you know, people, I know people who got it and recovered, people who yeah. were supposedly overweight and all kind of things that, you know, they say, yeah. oh, if you're overweight, <laughs> Uh, you know, you got high hypertension, high blood pressure. You're gonna I, those. I've seen those people recover from it as well. Right. I've seen people just stay home for 14 days, lose their sense of smell and taste, and you know have a fever and like a, a flu symptoms and recover. So, yeah, I, I don't know. It's all over, all over the place. Mm-hmm. Fly boy way. <laughs> oh, brother. that's man. My brother. Actually, when I went to. Um, to come and I went with um fresh we went together you know what I mean oh yeah yeah fresh is a cool brother he makes great videos he travels he does real estate as well yeah um, to connect with him that's a that's a very My boy way yeah that's I got nothing but good things to say about the good. brother I've, I've been I've been I've been on his stream get a couple super chats he was giving me intel on Ply to Carmen and uh mm-hmm. Cancun oh, that's what's up yeah that's what's up. he's, he's from York yeah, Joe B. Todd, it's better to have it and not need it than to go need it and not have it. Maybe we should hit a right. fly boy. Right. Hit a yeah. Yeah. Uh, Big yeah. Will. What up, Big Will? What's Big Will? We got to say no question, just support. I rock with both y'all channels. Thank you, Big Will. We appreciate oh, it. Man. Appreciate you, Big Will. Salute, bro. Salute. Uh, Wheezy. What up, Wheezy? 215. Thanks for the super chat. Thanks for the donation. Uh Abdul Rockman. Man, Flyboys on us. That's crazy. Man. People in the Philippines are black. Yeah, some of the people, some of the Filipinos are black, but they keep saying that they mix with Spaniards. The black, some of the black girls, they were like, My mother's Spaniard. And I'd be like, What does that have to do with your skin being brown? Mm-hmm. And I noticed all the guys, all the people doing the hard jobs out there are dark, darker skin. And they do use umbrellas and stay out the sun because same in Thailand, they don't want to get brown because they, the people who get brown from the sun are the hardworking people. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. They are lower on the totem pole. Right. I right. heard. Right. So they don't really like to get brown. Mm-hmm. Man, like that's the guys who run with the, train the elephants and do the show. They're yeah. like brown skin, you know, they, right. you know, so. That's what yeah. I am. Yeah. I got a, I got a question from you. Uh, this is kind of a little off topic, but as a YouTuber, you've been in the game for a while. We started a new channel together. What would be some advice you would give to us? You know, we start now with something new. We're you know working out the kinks. You know, you're more seasoned. Well, like, what kind of advice would you give to us? I would say the more you do it, the better you get out of it. Get at it, and yeah. I make huge mistakes every trip. Yeah, the camera setting or the lens setting, okay. uh, you know, it's just and I and you learn each time. Right. You learn right. something. Right. I learn something on each trip. Yeah. You know what I'm saying someone gets over on me, I'd be like, that won't happen again, you know. So <laughs> 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 the more you do it, 
I think yeah. the you get, you know, yeah. and you, you still you're always pushing yourself. So my main thing beyond the, the YouTube and all that, I love to travel. I love to see the world. So this is just extra, you know, sharing. You know what I mean? Right. I, don't, I don't do it anyway. I'm not traveling for the YouTube. I'm traveling because I'm at the point in my life where I can and I want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I really enjoy it. Meeting people, right. challenging myself, seeing different countries, different cultures. You know what I mean? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, man. I when I wrote you, you wrote me immediately back. I was like, whoa. Yeah, I, Cause I'm home. So it's a little okay. bit I, I try to get back to people. Sometimes people yeah. ask redundant questions and, and certain things like that. And I don't yeah. mind connecting with brothers. I think I wish more of us would do that. Um, yeah. all, all about uplifting black people. Right. You know I mean? Even when I have differences and, and problems with other black people, I don't yeah. put it out on the internet. You know, I don't say I wish. And I meet a lot of people who watch the channel and it's usually good things, but there are some people out there who are a little bit vicious, a little bit angry, a little bit short-sighted. You know what I'm saying? It's, I would say, so try to not let that bother you because we're human and some of it is so nonsensical that you're like, man. And, and it, to me, it's a reflection of black people. It's not just a reflection of that person. Right. You know what I mean? And that sometimes really like gets to me that, we behave that way. I don't know how white people treat other white YouTubers or Asian or Spanish. I just know how, and you know the comments are coming from your own people because you could tell by the way they say it. The, right. you know, exactly. the type of, of lingo dialect that we use. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> no, yeah. That's what you mean. <laughs> nope. Yeah, man. Yeah, Internet say. commander. Man's world. That's my man. He a wild boy right there. Who's that? Oh, what to tell you? This I see man's world. That's my man, Internet Commander. He had to change his name because YouTube got on him bad. But uh, <laughs> wild boy, y'all check out his channel too. Oh, he yeah. got a lot of insight on the Philippines, and, and man, he goes some places and do, does some things. But he his channel is more raw. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, channel <laughs> is raw. Like he keeps it real. You know what I mean? Oh, really? yeah, he I actually like just it. gave me some information about Tanzania because uh he was there not too long ago. Mm -hmm. You know, so besides the research that I did on my own, he could reconfirm some things, he gave me some insight, and that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to share. So, you know, if anybody's that's especially a content creator, because I know you need it more than the average person. My thing is this. Watch my videos before you ask me because I don't have time to respond to everybody's questions. And my videos is the information for free. You know what I mean? Right. So I'm at the point now where I haven't charged anybody for consultations, but I'm at the point where so much information, they want so much information that I might have to figure out a way to charge something for my time. So right. I would say take your time and put Barber World TV and then put the country you're going to visit after that. Usually right. all the videos will come up the country, right. the city, and the, that will come up and watch the whole video because I usually okay. talk about all the things that you're asking about in okay. the video, you know? So that's another thing y'all gonna get with the growth of the channel. A lot of people reaching out to y'all for information. Maybe okay. it's easier for just two of you guys, but I mean, people, I'll be in different parts of the world. Sometimes people be hitting me up two and three in the morning, four yeah. in the morning asking me questions you know oh where's stay i'm going to cartagena we, i'm going i'm going for my 50th anniversary you know i love you <laughs> well, where should i stay and how much are the girls and you know what i'm saying i'll be like yo i can't i can't answer every question one guy got yeah. mad at me because he asked me about flying a drone in um columbia i saw the question but i'm not an authority on that you know what i'm saying i flew yeah. my drone in columbia and yeah. i've seen other people fly their drones in columbia but I'm not authority on that to say, yeah, it's good. You know what I'm saying? So I overlooked the question. And he got really mad and was like, oh, you big headed, you a nigger. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, dogs, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And he was like, I'm going to stand on that. You know what I mean? And I'm like, see, you know what I mean? Like, But that's the kind of thing you're going to get. So if, if you're asking a question, be cool. Now, everybody's not going to be able to answer your question, you know? Yeah. I look at the question and overlook it and answer certain questions that, I can answer properly, or I just might forget. You know what right. I mean? It's not personal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, a yeah. Person here. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Recording? I wasn't recording. I don't know what I'm. 
this is like I said, this is all new to me. That's a sign that we've been on long enough now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I could get that off. I don't even know what. Yeah. Why. I had I had a really good question, man. It's about. Oh, give like, me uh, one second. Let me try to come back on. Okay. And see, and see if I don't know why it's saying that. Because I got a card in there. I don't know. Movie recording has movie, been that's happened to me before. Time, I can't remember. Recording time has been reached. Yeah. Oh, let me turn it off and on to see if that worked. And okay. Then I'll get to Theory JC. Hold on. Yeah, no problem. Let me see if this this will this will work. I want to ask. Y'all can y'all can okay. Maybe focus. Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully that okay. Cool. Okay. That's the question. And let me put uh now you go to the super chat first, and then I answer the question. What's up, bro? Long time follower, Barber World TV, and new sub last week to Foreign Strategies. Thank you, nice. awesome. thank you, brother. Yeah. Appreciate that. Appreciate, yeah, that, appreciate that. Okay, question. Okay, so you know you were talking about time, and time is money, and everything. And I was talking to T Bob earlier about this. Oh, you about to ask this? Oh wow. What's your <laughs> thoughts on? <clears throat> what's your thoughts on pay for play? Because that's a very interesting topic that we want to talk about. Okay. And our standpoint is we don't really have a strong stance on each side, but what's your, what's your stance on pay for play and what do you think about it? I think straight up, we're dealing with adults here. Um, yeah, for sure. If, if that's what you want to do, that's your business. And yeah. I don't like when people try to say, Oh, y'all taking advantage of the, the women i talked to the women they was like no we don't we're not feel like we're taking advantage of this is helping us you know um if we i asked them about what about a regular job the regular jobs is cool i'm in a, i'm referring to in reference to these poor countries brazil yeah. dominican republic they said i could work in a regular job and it might be enough maybe just to pay my rent but it won't be enough to buy food, to buy clothes, to take care of my towel. And they literally say those things, you know what I mean? Even some okay. girls who have jobs in restaurants or something like that, they still will go with a guy to make money because it's not enough. And, they, and I've, okay. I've spoke to girls who who have, who are nurses and other things. Even a girl told me in Dominican Republic, she said, you think because the girl's a teacher or a lawyer, she still don't make some money on the side? You know what I mean? So yeah. if you're gonna be with a woman, Usually, you're gonna maybe take her to the movies, maybe take her to dinner. You know what I mean? If you would have for more more time, even if a woman misses work to be with you, maybe you might compensate her for that. You know what I mean? Okay. Now, there are some countries where that is the main thing. Like Colombia is more of a they are really about the transaction to me, in my opinion. Now, yes, you could find some girls. I've had girls that liked me maybe i paid the first time second time then he liked me i didn't pay some girls never paid you know what i'm saying some girls you want you pay you know what i mean some girls mm -hmm. i had i interviewed them i paid them to do an interview you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying so if you want somebody you're not paying for, i always look at it like this and, and it, you could say ah it's bs but i look at it like this you're not paying for the girl per se you're paying for time i agree you know what i mean so i agree or you're paying for an experience, however you want to slice it. I don't have no problem with anybody paying if that's what they want to do. Right. Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. Right. Um, there's countries where you can and you can't. Most places you could find it if you really want it. Yeah. You might have to work a little harder if you don't want that. But I don't have, either way, I would never uh, point my finger at anybody or look down at anybody that does or that doesn't. Yeah. You're a grown man. Do what you want to do, have fun, protect yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. literally, those girls look at it too, like, yo, you helping me out. You know what I mean? So people can right. look down at it, but they look at it like, I mean, it's literally to the point where the girls will call you six in the morning. It will call you all day. They will call you three, four days in a row because they need that money. Even right. if you don't want to see them. One girl told me in Brazil, she said, she said, um, you don't like working girls because I never see you with a working girl. You know, she 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 like she, she thought like I'd look down at working girls, and I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm not following no working girls. You know what I mean? Because yeah. she, you know, she like, yo, I'm trying to get this money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get this money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, <laughs> so that's my feeling. I don't I don't care one way or another. I meet girls who do work and who don't work. 
You know what I mean? Doesn't make them less of a woman. Doesn't make them a bad person. You know what I'm saying? Especially in these situations. You know what I mean? Like, even even if you want to, your cape want to grow and you want to captain save a hoe, you know, they'd be like, only way I'm stopping is if somebody taking care of me. Because who's going to pay yeah. my bills? Right. You know? So, uh, earn yeah. money. Five, good looking. What it do about World TV for our strategy? Y'all brothers keep doing y'all. Thing. Hey, I man, appreciate, appreciate that. You. Appreciate that. Appreciate you support, for a year now. Life is good. All right, Irma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Captain Saberho. Captain Saberho, you up to about twelve, fourteen dollars right now. Oh, Ain't Captain uh, Saberho. <laughs> 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 yeah, I feel you. Captain Saberho. Uh, new member, Mike Hall. Good looking. Thank you. Thank you for becoming a new member. Um, yeah, what else? How do y'all feel about the pay for play? Hey, I'm going to say time is the highest currency, right? Mm -hmm. And I believe that it's okay to do both. You want to you want to use your game or if you want to pay for play. I I I'm I'm that's why I said I'm not on one side. Right. I'm 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 neutral with it. Uh because for example, right? When I wake up in the morning, I'm working for my firm 9 to 5 and then I'm talking to T Bob about ideas. We're putting out a vlog and, and we're editing it ourselves right. and we got a live so that's like three different jobs that i'm doing right. at what point in time do i have to take i take time to take a girl out now if it's up to me how i want to spend my time do i want to spend my time making money or do i want to spend my time vetting out for a date mm -hmm. most often times than not the, the more money you make the less time you have Right. Because you're spending more time making that money. So when you have some time, you like, you know what, well, straight up, I just wanna, I just wanna have I get my rocks off. I just wanna have a fun. And I wanna do it with somebody that's good at it. There's nothing wrong with it. You said it's good at it. <laughs> a professional. A professional. Then you have the other side. <laughs> then you have the other side where, you know, a lot of guys is like, oh, how do you get these girls? You know, we right. just ask them, hey, come on, come on. You know, some of them are yeah. dates, some of them are not dates. Right. And it's they make it easier for us. We're like, hey, if you want to make content, real is one of the best places to make content because okay. they are so open, open so open and like friendly and feminine. The baddest ones are the most friendliest ones. I'm like, yeah. I'm I'm expecting them to have attitude and I walk up on them and they're so feminine. I'm, it's disarming. So I'm like, hey, let's do this interview. Let's do this. Let's do that. They're hey, like, yeah, sure. sure. The girls that are not working are even more inclined to do the interview. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they don't yeah. have anything to hide. Now, sometimes exactly. girls that, that, that are true. working, yeah. they have something to hide. They don't want to do it. So, yeah. Oh, one thing I will say, though, I'm not too much into going to casas and terms and stuff like that. Like, I still, even if I still like to meet a girl, to, 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 to have chemistry with a girl, to see if I yeah. like them and they like me. So I'm not really, I'm not saying I've never been to one, but I'm not into on the terms and casas and stuff like that. I don't right, know right, that, right, right. that vibe where you yeah. walk in is very transactional. It's very yeah. impersonal. Yeah. So I'm more like, I like the clubs. Like I literally have been places and been in the clubs and, and, I mean, dance with a girl for like 30 minutes and I think like, oh, I'm in and she's like, Pro. but I'm working. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> for real. Because yeah. back when I first started going places, all the girls in the clubs was not working girls. It's turning into that. When, yeah, it the, is when I first went to Columbia, all the girls in the club was not working girls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I for, and. You know, you'd be like, and then even if you in a regular club was not filled with working girls, some of those girls right. in there are still working. Right. So, you know, you'd be like, no, yeah. you're not working. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it takes yeah. you back, right? It's like, like, yeah. like, whoa. Or, or girls will literally say, you spend your time talking to a girl, vibing with a girl. And I've had, I'm not a prostitute. I'm not a working girl. Yeah. Can you give me something? Mm. So what's the difference? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm exactly. saying like so. I mean, because everybody still wants something. You know, like, can you help me out? Can you help me out? I'm not a working girl. I like you, but can you help? Can you give me something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm I'm going to go on a limb and say this: that since I've been here, I haven't dealt with a pro, but um, 
I'm, that doesn't mean I condone people who do it. Mm -hmm. So that's all I'm going to say. I, I don't know how yeah, you feel I'm, about it. I'm, but I'm if you agree, with everything, so, I agree okay. with everything. So, <laughs> 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 oh, But I will say Brazil is a better place than Colombia, than DR, than some of those known places to, to get a girl that's not a working girl. If okay. Yeah. To not get working girls, Brazil yeah. is a good place for that. Okay. I would I would say that it is a good place for that. Okay. Facts. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of guys are like, are they are they drugging guys out there in Brazil and Rio? I'm like, no, oh, no, man. That's not. A thing. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. That's not happening. Oh no. When when I first went to Rio, somebody said, "Oh, you're lucky. They didn't take your camera." And blah 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 blah, and and I was naive to that too, and I was like, wow, I must guess I've been lucky, but I've been back there about five times since, and I, not to say that it can't happen, but I've yeah. always yeah, had yeah, yeah. camera. I, I've, been, smart. I've done so many interviews, I didn't have my camera on my phone. They, they did try to take my phone one time, but not roughhouse it. They tried to like distract me and lift it off my lap. Uh, mm -hmm. I, 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 me being a New Yorker, and you know somebody coming in your space you start freaking out already and looking around so when you're trying to slide my phone off i saw it you know what i mean right, I right. apologize and did all that bs but yeah. there was nothing i could do there you know it's their country it's not like yeah. i was one exactly I, I was happy that I, I saw it and got my phone kept my phone yeah yeah that's right yeah i'm I'm gonna tell you something man we had a we had a special guest over a couple nights ago and we had some culture shocks man and oh, she was saying so we we got a party we got a foreign strategies party that's coming this weekend um the ratio is gonna be nice um <laughs> shout, out, shout out to brazil <laughs> and uh you know when we told her she's like oh yeah i'll just bring 10 of my girls and I'm talking. I'm, and T Bob's in the other room, and I'm like, "What?" And she's like, "Yeah, you think my you think T Bob's gonna like her?" I was like, "Before you say anything, he's gonna like all of them." I've seen them okay. <laughs> so she says, "Oh, the way we party out here is different." And I'm like, "What do you mean by that?" Because in the states, when we party, it's a social thing: networking, drink, dance, whatever the case may be, talk. And Rio, when you party, you get five guys and five girls together. It's more like a sex thing. Swinger. I did not know that. We didn't know. Yeah, girl invited me to something like that. I was like, oh, baby, I ain't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't ready for that. No, <laughs> no, I'm no, not no. into all of that. That's, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they get down like that out there. Man, it, they, it is so when they say, man. when they say, oh, we having a party, party it means, this means you about to get down. It is, I did not know that. An open culture, man. Yeah. <laughs> like Chris Boyd, she said it's good, it's easy to find a woman. That's she's another a content creator. Shout out to you and your boyfriend. I see y'all travel and do your thing. She said it's easy to find a woman that does not work in Colombia. It's just that you have to go to the right cities. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so while I went to San Andreas, it wasn't no working girls. I wanted to go to Boca Ramanga. Barakia is, is a lot of less working girls. Even had girls come from Baron Kia to Cartagena to hang with me that wasn't working girls. So, yeah, I understand what you're saying. But in the cities that most of us travel to, <laughs> it's a lot of working girls. <laughs> and, and sometimes, even when you think you're approaching a girl that's not a working girl, you find out that she is or that she still wants to, wants to be compensated. Mm hmm J Rags, 10,000 COP, man. It's good to see brothers collaborating. Peace from Medellin. Thank you, brother. J Rags. That's the okay. I thought that was my other DJ dude. Uh DJ. Global Go Getter. I've never been with a pro myself. Not interested either. Uh when I was in Brazil, it was absolutely not necessary at all. But that's just me. I feel you on that, brother. Yeah. Bottom line is that you wouldn't be okay with your mom, daughter, or family members doing it, then you live in a lie. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I wouldn't even go that far because you know what I'm saying it all depends. I mean, you could judge them for doing it, and you can judge the guys for participating, but people are gonna do what they want to do. Yeah, and, that, I'm not and that, that's their way of survival. Yeah. But if it goes against your moral code, I could dig it. Mm -hmm. I yeah, can, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, I can yeah. 
but just keep that as an individual thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. That, yeah, and no way I'm just anybody. Guys, there. Damn, you know what I mean? Because right. if guys didn't help them out, and second of all, most of the girls that do that, it's a cultural thing there, like because they're doing it whether as foreign as they are not. They're doing it with okay. locals too. You know what I mean? Right. They're not just doing it with foreigners. That's their profession. They say, I'm going to work. Right. You know, so. Right. Inter definitely an interesting topic. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So I think we, 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 we covered enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 126 in the building. Thank y'all for joining. Yeah. This is my first live using a, 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 a live stream, stream service with guests. Yeah. Um, we had a few technical difficulties, but for the most part, I think we did well. Um, y'all check out foreign, foreign strategies. Yeah. If y'all in Brazil, maybe y'all could crash their parties. They sound like they might need some help. Hey, bro, I met you in the restaurant in Cartagena when you were getting ready to go and <laughs> to San Andreas. All right, brother. T. Ward, T. T. Wardros. T. Wardros. I'm sorry. I know I'll be jacking up some of y'all names, but appreciate the positive energy and the brothers stay blessed. Terry Shelton. Thank you, brother. And thank y'all for calling me and pushing me to do the live. No, thank <laughs> you, man. Appreciate, appreciate you, for, for right. us back, man. Maybe appreciate I'll do some more. Hopefully, we could collaborate and uh, meet up somewhere. No um, if you're coming back for three months, I'm going to be there September in in October, maybe we'll connect then. Okay. Definitely. All right, guys. Plan. Appreciate it, man. All right. Thank you, man. Thank All right. you. All right. Peace. Be in touch. Y'all take care. All right.